Boo Coop. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's D Coop back again with another commentary. It's been a while since I actually did an actual gameplay video, but I would like to shout out K Spade and everybody over at Full House Entertainment for allowing me to upload this to their channel. And I, like I said, it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's, that's as simple as I could put it. As you guys can see, I'm, I'm really happy the NBA season is back. It's been a while since I've seen some good NBA basketball too. And I got to watch my New Orleans Hornets open the season. And no, this is not a live commentary. I, I haven't had the time recently to do live commentaries. They're much more taxing. And you see me cherry picking right here. Let me get the coop to the hoop early on. But you guys know how we how we have to do things, man. And I wanted, I wanted to go for the first pick this game. So I'm playing a little out of character. I'm playing kind of cheesy. Kind of really cheesy. And... You guys will get to see if I if I go there on my channel. I won't actually show you guys at the end of the video where I get picked. But anyways, like I was saying, man, big shout out to Spade. Big shout out to everybody over here. They're doing a really nice job with the channel. I look forward to seeing more things, more bigger and better things from the channel. They keep the progress up. You know, it's really promising, man. Like the New Orleans Hornets season, right? I had to reach right there. Eric Gordon, Captain Glass Knees, letting us down so far. And for those that didn't know or that are new to me, I'm a, I'm a Hornets fan. I'm a big-time Hornets fan, man. I was a Hornets fan before the bandwagon came. And even though I think the bandwagon's, like, dying off right now, they're still, they're still there. You know who you are. You know who you are. And you see, when they take a terrible shot like that, it's my job to make them pay in Cherry Pig. And Finis with the Finis layup. Whoa, I said that completely wrong. Anyways, you see me cool with the blown dunk at the rim. It's going to take me probably like one or two commentaries to, you know, get my full commentary form back. As you see, Anthony Davis following Bradley Beal. Bradley Beal, man, he, he wasn't that good his first game. He was all right. Wasn't terrible, but he wasn't that good. He actually got outplayed by Deion Waiters. Did, did I say that right? Deion Waiters of the Cleveland Cavaliers? The pick we all bashed when he was drafted. But somebody has to score for Cleveland, so... You know, why not Waiters? And they're, they're an up-tempo team. He's actually a, a pretty good fit for that team the, from the looks of it so far. And Valanchunas, the rookie for the Raptors, he's looking really solid too. As you see, I try to hit him with the crossover, hit him with another crossover. I try to pass it inside to Davis. It was a fake pass over to Barnes. And I get a turnover. That's one thing I don't, I don't like. If you get a turnover in this, you're done for it. Like, not one turnover, but... Turnovers in the rookie showcase, they are they are killers, man. That's my advice to you guys. Try to keep your turnovers to a minimum. They kind of kill me this game. I don't think I show you guys too many of my turnovers since I hit them with the up and under. Kind of a, a nice little move to do, you know, if you're stuck. And I don't know why Austin Rivers is pressuring me full court when I could blow right by you and lay it in for two like that every time. Austin Rivers, your on-ball defense has to be like a five on this game. I mean, and you see me calling for it right here. I want the pick and roll with Henson. I believe that is. Henson inside with the finish. And they call goaltending. I get really hyped for some reason. Like when people finish and they call goal. Because I always think it's an M1. And one thing I, I, I kind of want to rant on is black time mode. But that I'm going to save that for a 2K Bible video, man. It's like in the back of my mind right now. Like Blacktop has made me so mad. And the reason I restarted my mop player and I'm doing this rookie showcase again is because of the skill points glitch. It's a terrible, terrible glitch. It's Coop pins it off the backboard. Yo, don't bring no Speedos to a grown man's pool party, son. But like I was saying, man, this glitch is, is terrible. Now, it's not even a glitch. Like or, or, 2K Ronnie, I, I think he said it wasn't a glitch. So, I don't know if they're going to try to fix it. I don't think they're going to do anything to try to fix it. You see me fail with the Euro step. Harrison Barnes, I try to follow Harrison Barnes at the buzzer. It is good. Count the basket. Harrison Barnes. He's pretty nice. Pretty nice rookie, man. I was hoping the Cavaliers drafted him. Him and Kyrie were high school teammates, I think. Why not? And I see Barnes trailing me, but I'm too focused on trying to get that number one spot like Luda. So, I go ahead and finish with the dunk. Coop to the hoop once again. And, like, I have so much to talk about this commentary because I've been so out of it. But you guys will see. I, I, will, I will return to full form, man. Uh, it's just a just a little hiatus. You, you know, the one, like, Mace went through. Except not that long at all. I'm not planning that at all. But like I was saying, as you see, I get the contact layup. It doesn't go. Like I was saying, though. 
Skill points. It was terrible. My mop player was a 67 over. He still is. And I just made this dude. And he's already better than my last mop player. After this game, when I finish, I use my VC. He's already better than my last mop player. I've been a 67 since, re since the release day, man. Like, I got 67 in the release day because of the VC. Then I got switched to skill points. And it's been a struggle. People been dominating me on blacktop. I feel like a scrub, man. And coop to the hoop. Yo. We mashing in the rim like potatoes. Like from that coop to the hoop song that my dude Dan Bootleg made. We mashing in the rim. Maybe I shouldn't, have, you know, use that one right there. But we're going to let it slide, right? Because it's been a while. I, I forgot how to count. No, I'm joking. But like I was saying, man, the, the skill points thing is a big deal to me, man. And I don't understand. I don't like people being able to use VC for one anyway. You shouldn't be able to buy coins to make your player better like come on 2k where's the love for the game man what happened to earning your way up you could buy vc you could do all this stuff i mean uh, i understand you guys want the money and all that good stuff but you know i guess i can't bash them it's a business at the end of the day people are doing it getting their money up getting their vc up but i really think everybody should have to use skill points like i don't know the vc system is flawed there's ways people glitch the system i mean 2k has always had a lot of glitches in its games and there's always people that are going to exploit it no matter what unless we're like in the year 2050 and computer infrastructure you know something is just completely sound where there's no more hackers like they make like a mac box like you know like not you know i'm like mac has no viruses they make like a mac box i can see this happening <laughs> you see Jeremy Lamb taking the contested jump and not finishing and it's the end of the game I hope you guys enjoyed this quick commentary once again. Thanks for having me is D coop to coop We do it all day Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. I'm D coop More coming soon if you don't know me you haven't seen me before be sure to check out my channel a lot more my player a lot of FIFA. I'm, I'm newly into that game, but I'm D coop like I said finally my last one and I'm out realization of a dream for some of the best young players in the world a reward for their many years of dedication and hard work it's also a time of extraordinary hope and excitement for our fans and our teams i know the young men hoping to hear their names called tonight just can't wait to join the nba family so let's get started with the first pick in the 2012 nba draft the New Orleans Hornets select...